Hey Aquarius, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading, guys. May or may not resonate. Okay. Hmm. Aquarius, I feel for a lot of you, you're losing interest in this person out here. For a lot of you, I think you're holding back. And you're probably taking like a new direction and moving away from this person or just trying to explore your options. You're in this very free, light-hearted energy is also what I'm getting for a few of you, okay? But you're being a close book to the person that you have been dealing with uh, in the recent past or like currently. Definitely someone here you haven't been having communication with. I don't feel that you are open to communicating with them. You're, it's more like you're waiting for this communication from this person. Could be someone at a distance from you, but you're doing that. That's for sure, okay? You're just staying closed off. You have trust issues. You're not opening up. Yeah, you're probably even choosing to move away from this person. Like I said, probably just uh, wanting a closure or you almost got a closure, whatever it is, right? But you're just choosing to move away. You know, get that physical and mental distance out here between you both. <clears throat> the person you're dealing with is on the verge of making a very big decision. This person could be manifesting a new opportunity with you. They're manifesting you, yeah. They want a reconciliation with you, Aquarius, the person you're dealing with. This person out here could be at a crossroads, okay. Now, the kind of choices that this person needs to make, it's more of a choice where they, first of all, they feel this twin flame connection with you, okay? No matter what they do, they cannot get over you. They can't let you go. They want you, but along with wanting you, they don't want to give you what you want or they don't want to let go of something that is important in order for this relationship to move forward. So we'll start with you, Aquarius. Your feelings for this person. <clears throat> I feel this person's messed up with you too many times, okay? It's a very messy situation. This person's... Can you guys see the cards? Yeah, now you can see. Okay, so I feel this person here has messed it up with you for a very long time, okay? I feel this is someone here you've given chances over chances over chances and... Um, there was no clarity out here, okay? I feel a lot of you were resisting an ending to this connection. You felt like it was almost over and done with, but you still hold on to it, okay? Because you have that hope and faith that, you know what, it'll work out. This time it'll work out. This time around it'll work out. Let me try this. Let me try that. So you tried a lot of things, okay? But it was stopping your personal growth is what I'm getting. For a lot of you, this was stopping you from, grow from growing. There's a certain way that uh, you should be approaching a relationship or a connection. And I feel you were entertaining a toxic connection. Or you were just entertaining something because it was just familiar, it was something known, or it was just something that you didn't want to let go of because you were just in that cycle, okay? And that cycle, it, it was like a loop, you know? Uh, <clears throat> left you in a limbo. This person left you in a limbo. Right now, they're very guarded. You're standing up for yourself. You're pushing this person away here, okay? Pushing this person away. Like I said, for a lot of you, Either you're expecting communication, and uh, but you're staying closed off, like I'm not going to reach out, or you're just moving towards something new, you know, changing your direction. I feel here that there is clarity that you have. You probably know what makes you happy, or you know, this person makes you happy. But there is a sense of clarity that you have, okay? Maybe you get, the last time that you gave this person a chance was, was the end of it, okay? And now you're choosing to put an end to this connection. You're putting like a full stop to this connection out here. <clears throat> you're changing okay you're changing your approach you're changing the way you think and there is a certain way uh, of transformation in yourself okay and the transformation is forcing you to end it with this person when it comes to this person out here i feel that this person is probably um, <clears throat> in two minds okay I think this person here is in two minds, okay? With the king of wands and king of pentacles here. I feel first, this person has a lot of passion for you. They do, okay? Secondly, this person knows that they need to commit to you, all right? But this person here is in two minds. See, that's where the choice is, right? The passion is there, which means that the relationship, they want it the way it is. If there's a passionate connection, they want it like that. If you guys are chilling, dating, hanging out, they want it like that. But I feel what's stopping them is like the king of pentacles where they don't know if they're ready to commit. Although it is there in their feelings, in their energy, they know they want long term. 
but somewhere somehow you i feel it's the logical part okay which stops them but i feel with the ace of swords they do have clarity about the situation here and they may want to they want to take a leap of faith with you but see what's happening here this is why i feel that they are always torn between commitment and uh, you know uh, keeping the relationship going as wherever you guys are look at this <clears throat> they that's the fool here and with the empress here this is how they see you they see you as a spouse they see you as marriage material they see you as someone who doesn't need them okay you're abundant in your own way you don't need them at all okay you're very attractive you're not chasing but they want to take a leap of faith with the empress tell me does that work <laughs> they're coming in with that very naive energy with like all right i don't mind let's see where this goes but okay no don't ask me for a commitment okay let's see let me think about it let's try so all this while if this person wasn't ready to say it to you maybe now they will because they have the clarity now maybe if they were looking for clarity they were second guessing themselves they now know what they want but it's still that no nah. I don't know if I'm absolutely ready for this. You on the other hand here in your feelings, you're just sabotaging the connection. You're choosing to walk away is what I'm getting here. Because you don't trust this person. You don't trust them at all because you've given them so many chances, right? Over and over again. Dude, you both want the same thing. <clears throat> you both, both of y'all want the same thing. Y'all both have the same intentions towards each other. Ten of pentacles from your side, four of wands from their side. You're just being very patient about this process, almost like even like walking away if you don't get it from them. And this person out here is dead serious about your Aquarius. They definitely want commitment with you. Okay. Now, uh, for you, when it comes to you, right, I think that you're trying to balance out the situation. In your intention, it is to balance it out with this person out here, okay? You want an equal give and take out here, for sure. Uh, I feel you're, uh, you feel this is a very toxic connection. For some reason here, you may feel stuck restricted bound to this person okay there is some kind of fear uh, that could be holding you okay or there could be some kind of obsession okay you're very addicted to this person out here but in your intention i think with the seven of swords here for a few of you for a few few i feel you are trying to walk away it is your intention to walk away from this person if this person is not ready to give you that commitment like I said, you want this with this person, but you could be just in two minds because, you know, eventually this is very toxic, right? It's draining you out at the end of the day. So you may choose to walk away from this person being very sneaky. Some of you could be looking at other options also, okay? This person out here, in their intention, it is they want to protect their point, okay? They want what they want. With the seven of wands here, this is that energy where someone's trying to fight for this connection, okay? Because with the nine of cups, their intention is to be, you are their wish fulfillment. You make them very happy out here, okay? Uh, they want some kind of clear communication with you. They want to make things very, very clear, okay? I feel this person has a strategy out here, but they're not very vocal about it, but they eventually will. They eventually will. Uh, I feel for a lot of these, uh, you, this person could be someone who could be getting a lot of attention also. This person could be getting a lot of attention. So what happens sometimes if you're emotionally very fulfilled, right? You don't feel the need to jump into and get into a connection that is stagnant, okay? Because you're okay, right? You're okay where you are. So if this person here gets a lot of attention from other people, which, which could be one of the reasons why this person here, you know, does not feel like striving or fighting for this connection, okay? I do feel there is this sense of uh, stubborn, uh, stubbornness from their side, okay? Like not wanting to give in. Like, I'm not going to give in immediately into this connection out here. But they know that you make them very, very happy. They're just trying to have some strategy. They want to come towards you, but in a very strategic way. They don't want to make any impulsive moves towards you. Okay. What is, <coughs> what is the mutual energy for Aquarius and the person they're dealing with? What is the mutual energy for Aquarius and the person they're dealing with? Oh my God. This is the mutual energy, but I feel it's more like Aquarius, I feel this is you more. You're choosing to cut out this connection for good. I think you're fed up. And I feel this person out here, if this person is already in another connection, then they're choosing to cut that connection off and come towards you. And you are choosing to cut this connection off. I mean, the mutual energy could be that your the mutual energy is cutting off a spiritual connection. Okay. But I feel you are cutting this connection off because it's taking too long or because it's just going nowhere. This person out here is choosing to cut 
something that is probably keeping them stuck something that is more grounded now for a lot of you this could be someone who's fighting for this connection against their family or fighting for this connection okay against another karmic connection that they are in okay but aquarius they are choosing to come towards you cutting off anything you know that is stopping them okay and choosing to fight for this connection um but that is what the mutual energy is but you i feel aquarius are more so inclined towards cutting this connection off for sure pretty much for good and you're going to suddenly all of a sudden you're just going to snap out of this connection see the death seven of swords i mean that's what i said this is it is very okay what is the weekly outcome for aquarius what is the weekly outcome for aquarius and the person they're dealing with what is the weekly outcome for aquarius and the person they're dealing with the weekly outcome You're, you're you're cutting this thing off you're cutting this thing off because this this confusion is killing you aquarius the confusion is killing you it's eating you away okay and the confusion is getting worse instead of things getting clearer and better it's just killing you because this person refuses to give you the clarity although they have the clarity here that decision making process is still you know it's on the verge of almost happening out here but they choose to i feel like not do anything about it and now you're like do what i'm done this is exhausting me you are definitely like you know what whoever is the feminine energy in this connection is choosing the cut thing off okay and you're wanting to move towards something more stable something more valuable or something or someone that provides more value to the connection so parents i feel for a lot of you you're cutting this person off it's just out over and out you're done with this because this person out here thinks they can sit here all day and not do anything about it maybe i do agree maybe they're still fighting for this connection but it's taking too long it's taking too long and it's creating even more confusion while you wait for them to come towards you so you're just choosing to just ask the louis the baby okay so yeah you're choosing to cut them off um a few of you could be secretly getting married or engaged or committed is what i'm saying you know i'm just saying a few of you okay uh maybe you're choosing new love for others of you okay someone who will provide value in this connection like i said before right that's what it's saying someone who will provide more value you realize what is valuable to me do i want this toxic connection here only because i feel so much love for them or do i want to invest in someone who invests in me that's what you're asking yourself and which is why you're making this decision Okay, so that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hope this reading resonates. Do like, share, subscribe if you enjoy this video, and I'll take talk to you next time. Bye bye.